Okay, today we're gonna look at four different word problems and I want you to think about whether we need to multiply or divide with them. So the first one, Lucy completed two thirds of the race. She only ran a fifth of that. What fraction of the completed race did she run? So pause the video and solve this problem. So Pepper, he likes to walk a little bit more than Lucy. He wants to walk three miles. And so walking around the neighborhood is half a mile. How many times does he need to walk around the neighborhood to reach three miles? So I want you to solve this one. And then at the end, we're gonna go over all of these problems. So problem number three is I have 60 ornaments in this box and a third of them are from students over the years. How many ornaments are from students? So 60 ornaments are in the box and then a third of them are from students. How many ornaments are from students? So pause the video and work out this one. All right, so the last problem, I have a half a pound of candy to share with three people. How much will each person get? So I've got a half a pound here and I'm sharing it with three people. So how much will each person get? So pause the video and solve this problem on your own and then we'll go over all four of them. Okay, now we're gonna go over the first problem. So Lucy completed two thirds of the race. She only ran a fifth of that. What fraction of the completed race did she run? So two thirds of the race is what she completed. And then of that, she only ran one fifth. So of is a, a key word here that we know that we need to multiply when we see of a lot of times. So two thirds times one fifth, because she only completed two thirds of it. And then of that, she ran one fifth. So this would represent the part that she completed. And then one fifth of that, so I can divide it into fifths now. And then this one portion right here, represents the part that she ran. So the part that has, you know, kind of the crisscross lines in it, this overlapping part right here, represents our answer. We also know when we multiply fractions, we multiply the numerators, so that gives me two, and then I multiply the denominators, so that gives me 15. And so two out of the 15 are shaded. So what fraction of the completed race did she run? She ran two fifteenths of the completed race. Now for the second problem, Pepper wants to walk three miles. He likes to walk a little bit more than Lucy. So walking around the neighborhood is half a mile. How many times does he need to walk around the neighborhood to reach three miles? So he wants to run three miles and then going around the neighborhood one time is half a mile. So if I do three divided by half a mile, that will tell me how many times he needs to run around the neighborhood or walk around the neighborhood. So three divided by half, I'm thinking about how many halves are in three. So if I just had one, there would be one half, or there would be two halves in one. Sorry about that. So two halves are in one. So if I had three, I could multiply two times three to figure out how many halves are in three. So that would be six. So he would need to walk six times around the neighborhood to get his three miles. Now with the third problem, we had the 60 ornaments in the box and then a third of them are from students. How many ornaments are from students? So this one again, it says a third of them are from students. So I'm gonna take my 60 ornaments 
and multiply it by a third. And when remember, whenever we multiply with a whole number in a fraction, I multiply the whole number in the numerator, that gets me 60, and the denominator stays the same, so 60 thirds. You know, another way that I could look at this is I can turn any whole number into a fraction by putting a one under it. So 60 times one third, and I know 60 times one gives me 60, one times three gives me three. So just like we always do when multiplying fractions, we multiply the numerators and multiply the denominators. Now I don't wanna leave this as 60 thirds because I know I can change it to a mixed number or change it to a whole number in this case. If I think about 6 divided by 3, I know it's 2, so 60 divided by 3 is going to be 20. So that means that 20 of the ornaments are from students. Alright, and now we're ready to check the last problem. So on this one, this was the one where I had a half a pound of candy to share with three people. How much will each person get? So now I've got a half a pound and I'm sharing that. So, you know, that's a key word that we're gonna need to divide. I'm sharing it between three people. And I know since I only have a half a pound, you know, they're gonna get less than half because I'm splitting a small amount between three people. So they're gonna have even less. So I could draw a picture to help with this. This would represent my half a pound. And then I'm going to divide it into three parts. So this portion right here would represent what each person is going to get. And if I go ahead and extend my lines, that will tell me how many total parts I have. So I have six, but my answer is this part right here. So they're each going to get one out of the six. So they get one sixth of a pound of candy. And you know, this problem, some of these problems I do just make up. So I just wanted to share this part with you. There's not really candy in here in case, you know, you were thinking I was going to have a lot of candy. It's really just these snap cubes. But I hope this helps you understand the problems a little bit better and, you know, trying to figure out when we need to multiply or when we need to divide. So make sure to check your answers before you submit your form.